I recently watched a girl showing a video of what she eats in a day for an hourglass figure. So today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day for an hourglass figure to show you that one, you do not need to restrict any food groups and two, a diet that works for you is going to be one that's sustainable and catered to you and your body. For me personally, I feel great when I'm eating higher protein and fats in my day versus somebody else might be like, oh, I feel better when I'm eating higher carbs and fats. Whatever the case, I don't restrict any food groups. I eat them all and I make sure that I'm having well-balanced meals throughout my day. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really sorry. I clickbaited you a little bit because this diet, what I eat in a day, what I'm showing you today, it's not going to get you an hourglass figure. I'm sorry. Don't click away yet. Don't click away yet. I just wanted to show you what I eat in a day so happens that I have like a more slimmer waist which is like obviously why you probably clicked straight up this isn't going to give you that what is probably going to be my recommendation for you is body recomposition I have a free 40 page guide because people ask all the time and I just wanted to dump all the info I have in like the simplest way possible not to overwhelm you it is 40 pages long it goes over macronutrients workout guides all that it's free, it's in my bio, check it out. Basically, the um, idea there is you are losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time without being in a caloric deficit. So for me, I eat out of maintenance. I am not restricting, I am not in a caloric deficit. If you are trying to get into the world of tracking a little bit or like finding your maintenance calories, then you can go use an online calculator. For me personally, I use the Gains by Brains macro calculator. I tracked um, using my fitness pal. And then I would weigh myself every day to make sure that my weight wasn't changing. Now, if your weight is changing, then you know you need to make uh, modifications accordingly. If, say, your weight is going up, you would kind of decrease your calories a little bit. If your weight is going down, you know you need to eat more. Um, for me, I make sure I don't track anymore, but I do recommend tracking for maybe roughly like two weeks just to get a feel for it and see what's working and what's not. But I really, really preach like a high protein diet. And because for me personally, like I try to make sure that my meals are like very voluminous with protein and whole foods like vegetables, just because I feel fuller longer it's increasing my satiety and also when I eat high protein I feel more energized like I said I'm preaching for you to find what works for you I had to play around with a lot of different macros so I was originally eating higher carbs but then I realized like I kind of feel fatigued after I eat a high carb meal so I kind of save them for the end of the day um, or I'm playing around with a gluten-free diet. I don't know because I've, I've heard that can help um, if you feel like very groggy after you eat high carb. So I don't know yet. I can't say one way or the other, but you know, I just listen to my body. And this day of eating actually is a day where I'm eating out at a restaurant. I don't, I can't track at the restaurant. I don't track anymore, like I said, but um, yeah, I have no idea how many calories, you know, you assume that the plate has more than if you were to probably just make it yourself and that's fine like it's all about listening to your cravings so yeah today's video i am going to a restaurant and i think that's still great to show you like how i kind of eat at the restaurant and like we'll still try all of these things we kind of went a little crazy we ordered everything on the menu it was our friend's birthday and we were like c'est la vie i hope this video helps you and makes you realize that no food group is the enemy. Food is not your enemy at all. Carbs, fats, proteins, we love it all. Just try to prioritize protein. I eat at least one gram of protein per body pound a day. So I'm honestly eating probably around 120 grams of protein on a normal day. And if you struggle to get your protein in, I drink a vegan protein shake every single day. This video isn't sponsored, but if you want to check out my favorite supplements, I love Blessed Vegan Protein. Also, EHP Labs protein has like really good flavors and you can use my code Elizabeth for 10% off. But anyways, enough of the chat, let's grub. All right, first meal of the day, I'm actually freaking terrible because I don't let the phone eat first. I eat first. This is why I don't do damn eatings because literally like I forget to record. 
afford it but i had a bowl of oatmeal i'll show on the screen don't worry and i put a little bit of peanut butter in there and then um some cinnamon and cut up some banana and i just had that before i went to the gym usually i don't eat before the gym because i work out at 5 a.m but today i worked out at 8 a.m so i ate before and then um i'm just gonna run some errands i'm not hungry yet and then i'll go home and show you what i'm gonna make next i open up my bubbly sparkling water this is just literally sparkling sparkling water with grapefruit wow why can i not talk grapefruit flavor um and yeah i love it one second i've been drinking these before drinking energy drink i'll drink this and be like do i really want energy right now or was it just the bubbly taste that i wanted and most of the time literally it's just the bubbly taste so that's a life hack for you okay update i took my lashes off I have been running errands for like the past two hours, so I didn't go home yet. I'm hungry. I went to Vons just now. I'm going to eat some carrots, and then I'm probably going to, I don't know, either eat sushi. I bought like a $6 sushi roll from Vons or a sandwich. I don't know what I'm feeling yet, but I'll let you know. But right now, I'm just eating some carrots to I want the crunch. I want to be not hangry right now. Meal number two. I just picked up this um, sushi from Vons because it was only six dollars. And then I heated up some edamame from Sprouts. Mm, and then I have just like a crunchy salad with kimchi. And I'm just eating this while I watch the rides bride wars on hbo when i like think of what i want to eat i just try to like always have a protein in there and then a source of fat so it's this avocado and um some carbs so i have carbs 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 and protein edamame actually has like a good amount of protein it is 2 50 p.m i made a little pick me up coffee with my nespresso and I'm just like gonna tidy up around the house. I'm doing laundry. And yeah, I'm gonna probably drink this for now. Maybe make a protein shake later. So good, they like froth the top. It is now 6.50 p.m. This is kind of like a bad day to do a day of eating because it's not typical, but I guess I just wanted to mo more show like my mindset around eating and like how I structure meals. I'm going to dinner at 8 p.m. tonight at a steakhouse with my girls gym there's gonna be 10 of us there i just made a protein shake to kind of like get my protein in and i'm getting hungry and i can't wait till eight knowing that we're not going to probably eat till nine also see this is why i cannot do day of eatings i had a cutie like an hour ago this is two scoops of or like one and a half scoops of protein powder a banana some peanut butter and cacao nibs and i literally am obsessed it tastes like a milkshake i look forward to this i usually drink it for breakfast because it's easy for work i will show you guys what i get for dinner usually i order like fish or grilled food we'll just see what the menu is looking like all right, little voiceover for tonight's dinner. I tried oysters for the first time and they were so delicious. I had like three. For dinner, I got the lobster and then we all ordered like every single side on the menu. So I tried like poke, there was mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, it was so good. I only had half of the lobster and then I brought the rest home for my roommates. We ordered every single dessert on the menu so I had a little try of every one except for the creme brulee because I'm not really a creme brulee girl but the banana cheesecake was 10 out of 10. So amazing. For my drink I ordered like soda water with ginger and lime because I didn't feel like drinking that night but it was really good and overall this was just such a great dinner and I slept very happily that night but anyways thank you so much for watching today's video i hope this shows you that no food group is the enemy follow me on instagram and tiktok for more behind the scenes of what i eat and until next time see you